Today we're going to compare the popular Pilatus PC-12 with the King Air B-100. And we're going to debunk the myth that one engine makes operating costs lower for the Pilatus. Okay, we're comparing the Pilatus PC-12, the Dash 45 version, and the King Air uh, B100, Dash 10 version. Of course, uh, thousands of Pilatuses have been made, thousands of King Airs have been made over the years. They're both still in production in some form or fashion, so they're both great airplanes. But we're going to highlight that the King Air B100 has some performance statistics that make it actually better than the Pilatus PC-12. There's that PC-12, very sought after, beautiful airplane. Of course, it's a single engine. And many people believe that the single engine makes it cheaper to operate per hour. The King Air has two engines, so logic would be that two engines means twice the cost. That's not the case. And in this video, we're going to walk through the economics on a per hour and per nautical mile basis that show that the King Air is actually about the same cost per hour to operate, but you get the benefit of two engines. The King Air B100 is unique in that it has Honeywell Garrett engines, which are very fuel efficient. It's part of the magic of this particular model. And in terms of the sort of cabin layout and cabin size, very similar to the King Air 200 and the newer 250, which comfortably carries uh, 10 people, including pilot and co-pilot. So very familiar cabin layout. So let's look at the numbers for the King Air B100-10. Uh, you can buy a used one for about one to two million dollars. They're fast. 275 knots to 280 knots. The maximum operating altitude is 31,000 feet, although most operators fly in the mid-20s. You burn about 82 gallons an hour for both engines, and your engine maintenance reserve is about $85 per hour for both engines. And that's thanks to the particularly long TBO, time between overhaul of 5,000 hours. So net-net, you're spending $496 per hour for engine maintenance and fuel, or $1.77 per nautical mile. Now, look at the Plus PC-12. Twice as expensive, three to four million dollars to buy, slower, 245 to 250 knots. The operating altitude's fairly similar. 63 gallons per hour for the one engine, uh, $105 for the one engine for engine reserve and maintenance. And that's due to the shorter TBO, 3,500 hours versus 5,000 hours. And the Pratt & Whitney PT-6 is more expensive to overhaul and inspect than the Garrett 10s. So net net, if you look at the cost per nautical mile, the King Air B100 is 177, the PC-12 is 173, virtually identical. Pretty much kills the myth that a single engine Pilatus is cheaper to operate than a King Air. The mission profile of two airplanes is very similar. They're both rugged workhorses with a lot of seats. Here's a King Air with the upgraded Garmin panel. The Pilatus also is known for, you know, landing anywhere, short strips. You know, it's got that cargo door, the, the main cabin door. It's got a fairly plush interior. Of course, all that savings that you get when you buy that King Air for half the price, you can put that into a brand new, beautiful interior. But these planes will land just about anywhere, very short strips, and they're great for just, you know, general utility. But if we go back to the, the two engines on the King Air, you know, if you're thinking about the, the two engines and the safety that comes along with that, you're flying along the Rockies maybe at night, you know, you may feel more comfortable crossing the Rockies, flying at night with the safety of two engines carrying you along the way. All right, so you might ask kind of, is there a catch with the King Air B100? Sure, the Garrett engines are louder, uh, not so much inside the cabin, but if you're on the ground and you hear that uh, King Air with those Garrett engines go by, it's louder, it's known for that. Also, the King Air B100 is gonna be an older aircraft, so you'll need to take some of those savings and, and put it into interior and paint and maybe avionics. But at the end of the day, the King Air B100 is an excellent choice for a turboprop aircraft. I think it's one of those great gems in aviation, one of the, one of the best values in aviation for a turboprop with just simply great utility and cost. <laughs>